Draymond, you've been uh, in attack mode the last few games. Uh, did you? Is what's been the process behind that? Did you just flip a switch and decide to do it? Do you feel better? Like what's been the uh, the motive? I think it's a mixture of everything. I think obviously getting my legs back and my condition under me, uh, you know, kind of getting the flow and the rhythm and, you know, kind of trying to pick and choose my spots. Uh, you know, it's a new team. So, you know, having to figure all of that out. But um, I just said, told myself, you know, I just need to be aggressive. And I think when I'm aggressive, we're a better team. So, Draymond, can you break down how that starting, how the starting lineup changed and what it did, why it worked so well? Oh, it's one game, uh, you know. So let's not go too crazy. Uh, <laughs> what did you like? We got we got out to a good. We built the lead to start the game. Uh, that was good, you know. I think, um, you know, that team. We we just got we still got to improve as a team overall. Though it's not just one lineup. Um, we got to continue to improve. You know, even tonight. I th- well, we had 20, 20, 21 assists. Like. Scoring 130 points, having 21 assists, that's not great. You know, so um, we got to continue to improve across the board, everybody. How long, how long is fair for a team's identity to, to lock into place? Steve keeps saying maybe like 20 games, that's when we'll have an idea. Does 20 feel about right? Does that number feel arbitrary? How long does it take to shape identity? I think any number is arbitrary. You can never say when something's going to click or not. Um, you know, so I think at this point, any number is arbitrary. And saying that, uh, you know, 20 games in, you, be, you better be figuring it out because everybody else figuring it out at that point. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep getting better each and every time we step on the floor, you know, and, and looking at where this team is today and where we were six weeks ago, it's night and day. So just keep getting better. And as a, uh, you know, Steph's ace over these last several years, well, how, how can you tell when he's not in rhythm? Like when when his offensive game isn't there. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to tell everybody else that. Uh, you know, I can. I, I can kind of, say that. I can kind of pick it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I can tell before the game, uh, but been together for nine years, so. Uh, that's for everybody else to figure out, though. <laughs> but I can tell. But be- better question: uh, Is there things you can do and the team can do to make sure he's in the rhythm, especially like in a close game where you'll need him in the fourth quarter? Uh, I think you know, uh, just always trying to set screens, get them open. Um, you know, sometimes at times getting them off the ball, I think helps a lot. Uh, you know, when he's on the ball, teams are really locked in and focused on him. So getting him off the ball sometimes help. But um, Steph's going to find a way to get going somehow uh, when he's not. So that's just that. Draymond, with that being said, uh, obviously late in the fourth quarter, that stretch, I believe it was 14 in about three minutes. Um does that ever get old for you? I, just as a basketball fan, seeing something like that take place, Steve called it brilliant and rare. What is it like from your perspective? I'm not sure as a basketball fan uh, if that would ever get old to anybody unless you're not a fan of the Warriors um, or stuff, which there are plenty of those people out there. Um, and saying that, I'm not sure watching that gets old to anybody. Uh, yeah, unless you're just kind of on the wrong end of it. But it's amazing. 